Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to EU4. This is Antebellum playing Byzantium. It's 1470. And there's the revolt in Taravo. T -t Tarovo. And it's on a fort, so I have plenty of time to get there. Hooray! I'd rather it not be, but what are you going to do? We also need to watch out for the Serbian rebels. They're annoying. But our overextension is going to go away soon, so that'll help. Wait for our morale to take over. God damn it, and there's the Nicaeans. I want them to get there on, like, the day two of March, so they don't get the attrition tick. And that way we can have more time to move over there. Perfect, day two of April, rather. And it's getting uppity. Oh my god, I will lose the legitimacy. Shut up, nobility. Who cares? Go. I, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to, to increase and get a general... Oh, I can't do it, because their loyalty is too shit. The surprise is not Western tech in this mod. I mean, why would Greek scholars wander off to kickstart the Renaissance in Italy? Uh, what tech am I, actually? I never remember how you actually see what tech you are. Help me out here. I'm Eastern, there we go. So I'm Eastern, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? Okay, and there we go. There's all my manpower I had. If I make you a little mod to use in parallel with this one, would you, with no peeking at files? Um, for another game, sure, but I don't want to be, I wouldn't want to mess up my game because I imagine it would change the checksum and screw up the game. But if it didn't mess me up too bad, I would be interested in it, sure. Keep that. Oh, the manpower loss. I miss, I hate you so. Okay, and there you go. Perfect. Awesome. Obviously, we are still going to have Serbian rebels. The Great Synod. Give me that stability. Oh, yes. I think of adding a couple small events. Cool. Let me know. It was just to, just to screw me. The last time it made me a mod effort, all right? It was a RimWorld one. Or it gave me, like, a save. It was a RimWorld one, and it was, like... You open up an area and then like a bunch of cows came out. It's so weird. Hey, what's up, Fregatuti? It is a weird game. Oh, it's E4, but it's like, I don't know. It's just, this mod is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I need to now start pushing into um, these guys. And actually, this might be one of the, the best times to do that. Because while I'm going to get crushed with rebels, it's going to give me most possible time to move into Caraman. I can't take their entire country, of course. But I could take quite a lot. Unfortunately, it's all the wrong religion. <laughs> Ugh. It's gonna suck. Yeah, definitely check out Antebellum. I have been really enjoying it. Um, I have a lot of money, but I think if I attack these guys right now, they won't call in Kandar or um, Aquila, blah, 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 which means I could take a bunch of cash from these guys. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's just make sure they don't have piles of soldiers. Caraman. Like differencing the Charlemagne's empire didn't fracture. That seems to be the primary difference. Yeah, I think it's mainly that Charlemagne survived, or rather didn't, you know, shatter and fall apart. Right, so they have literally 9,000 soldiers. I'll be fine. They'll obviously recruit a pile of mercenaries soon, but that's all right. Let's do this now, and we're going to make the goal to just take, uh, I still, uh, no, Konya. I'm not calling Jeremy in, because they'll call in the Nizarids. Awesome. You get back home. Come on, Serbia. Revolt, damn it. Why are they so pissed off? Because separatism's still there, for Christ. Oh, I still, I decreased their autonomy, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Ooh, they blockaded me, alright. Let's uh let's get these guys unmothballed. Can I put them all here? No, I cannot. It's okay. Come on, hurry up. Fire. It's also invidian. Cool, I can actually state this, which would be good. You will state it. And then we will pour it. There's... Oh, okay. 
It still says it's in Vidin. What the hell? How can I? Oh, I'm at war. That's why. Ah, damn it. Ah, but they're gonna siege Kosovo. Go away. Oh, one more month. Come on, come on, come on. Can I get my forts? Tick tock. I don't need that fort though. I also need this fort. Come on, rebels, fire, damn it! Oh, what? They got it instantly! What the hell is that? Get them, boys! Yeah, turn down for what? Oh, we actually died. We actually died pretty hard there. Oh, I lost most of my fleet. Okay, that's not good. Rebels, seriously though. The, I know the moment I turn around, they're gonna come back and fight me. I know they are. This was the best time to do this. Come on! They can purchase an ability, I suppose. Uh, da, 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 da. Commerce in train of capital, colony, cav ratio, war taxes for free. Even not been playing. I ain't not playing it that long. AE impact, somewhat good. I'd be tempted more for the war score cost, just make more money. Um, but also, if you look at this, I have farm. Oh, there's not really a lot of farmland. There's not really a lot of farmland that is actually useful for me in this area. So I might just go war score cost because then I can have war score for free whenever I like. No war score, waste, raise taxes. It means I make a lot of money. Wait, seriously, you gotta just. Ah, oh, it's too late. What? Oh, watch, the moment I do it, they're gonna appear. You know they are. The moment I go. So ready as well. Right, go get him. Doo -doo -doo. I, I guarantee you. Yeah, common ability, it's, it's useless, yeah. Bring it. Advice. Give 15 government reform progress. Nice. Forward to that. Because, ooh, baby. Trade efficiency. Nah. Merch. Probably the merchants, actually. An extra merchant is actually incredibly good. Because, especially if I'm going to eventually end up in the Venice node, so I need one, two, three, four, five, and then any further down here. So I need at least five to be able to get max value out of this. It's gonna fire in like eight seconds. There's a troop count. They still only have nineteen thousand, so half my army could beat them. Oh, Lotharingia has announced Francia as a new rival. Well, yeah, no shit. About time. And next we can get administrative ideas, which is awesome. Which is mercenary maintenance, benefits of mercenaries, because right now I am paying. 4.58. This is actually really good for me because it means I get I save a whole ducat, and then I get re reinstitution of the Pronoia. As the empire continued to lose more land and revenue, the Pronoia system was once helpful in the backbone of our army fell into unsustainability. With our borders resurging, we can finally reinstate the practice of small-scale taxable land grants. This will grant our army a pool of professional and more importantly reliable self-equipment units to draw from. Infantry combat ability, pretty damn good. Focus for now on the forward to maximize Constantinople. I mean, this is pretty worthless note if to feed through good. Oh yeah, no, I'm talking about like when I own everything here. Long time away. Um, by the time I by the time I have Venice, I'll have all of that and all of this as well. So don't worry. I'll be staying in Constantinople for a very long time. Look, they're actually standing on the war goal. Pretty annoyed they managed to just beat me up. They basically killed my whole fleet. Sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more ships. That'll give me seventeen galleys. And then we're gonna need to make the rest a big pile of barks. I'm gonna take over New World Colonies. Oh god, that'll be an ordeal. Foreign drill inspector available. Lose money. Gain a very nice advisor and get armed professionalism. Yeah, alright. 
That would be good. Okay, he doesn't... Oh, he, does... he is cheaper. Oh, yeah. Very good. I'm probably going to need to go mill ideas next, and I, I'm tempted to probably just go offensive, because it is quite literally the best idea group in general, just being able to have better generals, more siege ability. Um, the only thing is that my main gate is manpower, so a part of me does kind of want to go quantity, just for the flat 50%. So I could, if I wanted to do that, then just go for... Um, that's land attrition. Where's... It's quality... No... What am I thinking of? I swear, there's, I swear there was met in power. No, it's, it's attrition. Attrition to defensive ideas does essentially mean that, yeah. And of course, there's the revolt in Kosovo. You. Oh, stop it. Uh, well. Hooray! Hooray! Okay, maybe come back. Oh, look at those revolts for Belgium. Belgium? Book area. House of blah blah blah. 345, Alexios. Ooh, well, I'm going to call it Effa for my lovely, lovely new supper. A 345, pretty good. Basilia. It's been like 10 years for the next big war due to AE. Uh, AE cycles both left and right based on religion. So people in the same religion only really care about um, coalition stuff against their own religion. So it's really easy for me to just cycle wars between my west and my east because I can just cycle between Orthodox and Sunni. As I continue to get more and more powerful, I can actually do it in three directions, uh, Orthodox, Sunni, and Catholic. But this mod also has a myriad of different interesting religions, including Tengri in the west with Magyar. So I can actually be destroying the entirety of Tengri two times and then move to Slavic and Remover. So yeah, it's pretty cool that way. Ooh, it's going to pop to Serbia now. Come on, hurry up. I will now just uh, recruit another mercenary right there. There's rebels, Jesus. Oh, uh, no, because I don't have Kosovo, I'm getting... I got an automatic loan. Oh, you dick. Ah, oh, that sucks. It cost me so much money for nothing. Support the Florentine school to get prestige and lose a big pile of money. I do like prestige. Yes. Blockade. Don't care. I just don't care. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, what? I didn't even realize I was going to have a rebellion. Damn it. Stop it. If that helps. Let's start sever repeating everybody. Ooh, they got that 20k. Okay, maybe not. Do do do. So we're going to just uh, put everyone there. Putting all the mercs because you're looking to want us to take the casualties. Like that. There we go. Hi. We're actually going to split that in half and put them there so that way they don't get as much attrition. Even on highlands, um, we'll be able to beat that gigantic stack. It doesn't really make a difference. There you go. Good. Yeah, they're just kind of standing there, aren't they? That's all my galleys built, which is nice. Oh, no, still a few to go. And that is actually four transport ships. Awesome. So I can, yeah, just kill these guys without really too much bother. Tick tock. And there's our galleys. Hello. Should I maybe try and get an admiral? Yes. Grant an admiral ship. 
You are. Hey, a 2 4. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh shit, didn't realize there were so many ships there. Well, we caught them and trapped them at least. Good. Ship trade power. Nice. That's gonna be good. Oh, another victory. Beautiful. Have they hired more ships or something? Damn. Some rebels, though. And fun. Alright, let's just stand there. That helps quite a bit. And we're still making cash, which is good. Red Ram Croatia. Awesome. I haven't tried Croatia. Going to Ledze. People are still a little upset with me, but that's okay. Uh, I can also seek support of the clergy. Uh, and I should probably give it this to one of my less interesting provinces, like this. I would like to get to 100... Uh, I can't really get to 150. 81. That's okay. So we'll just get admin power. Boop. And from the burrows, I can now get diplo support. 80. Do that. That points. Nice. Dank points for me. Gonna wait to finish this bad boy off. I really am just doing this for money anyway. Doesn't really make a difference. And then I can just obliter obliter obliviate, obliterate them. Uh, and as before, we're just we're gonna just try and finish all the administrative ideas for you anymore. Admin tech. So interest per annum. Yay. Okay. That'll show that everyone gets paid. So I like to see. Oh, hey, look, the Siege of Ankara. We're going to wait for this to be done, obviously. Now, I do obviously have claims in all of this. But, you know, look how much it costs because I'm not doing them in a war. So I am just going to take a big pile of money. Uh, I'm just going to make them annul their alliance with the Nizarids. And take all their cash. Because that seems to be the best thing for me. And that gives me a truce until 82. And if I go war reps, it is 83. Bye bye. Which means we can now do this. Perfect. Um, and tell you what, let's also put, start putting some mill power in some of our states. Some of our territories, rather. So, a good way to do that, if you want to try and figure out, like, which ones you want to, like, like, which ones you should improve on. Because just try and stack it up. Go so here. And look at that. These states are the best for mill power. So, Constantinopolis and Thessaly. So, boom. And Thessaly. Boom, boom. Might as well just try and improve it. Uh, it's a few revolts happening right now. It's a bit annoying. Okay. <laughs> Let's go kill them. Um, I might... Yeah, we'll kill them first, and I might go kill those rebels. Because they're kind of annoying me. Yeah, they're kind of being annoying. Go get them. I haven't converted anything yet. I am definitely going to need religious ideas third, sadly. Maybe a little annoying, but what can you do? Okay. Oh, government reform. Oh, baby. Okay, so. 5% tax. 5% production efficiency. 5% goods produced. Trade efficiency, 5%. Construction time cost, now. Merchants, 1%. Uh, I'm going to go merchants, because I think I will definitely need merchants a lot more. Growth and establishment of... I don't remember it looking this cool. I feel like it wasn't this cool before. Uh, so stock exchange. Growth and globalization of trade led to the creation of the world's first stock market. We need to have enough qualified men to cover such a vast area our world is. That is going to be very good for me. Because it means I start stealing this. Going to increase the amount of money I earn. Hooray! 
How much am I to wear in there now? An extra ducat. It does ca it does catch up, especially as you start to put more stuff in. Get them, boys. Okay. And now we'll go kill them. And again, they have like no soldiers, so we're fine. Plague, I will lose the ducats. God, reinforcement is so expensive. Actually, kind of silly how expensive re reinforcement is. There we are. We don't want another loan. Be a dick. Do do do. Go here and hide away. Alright, and that'll be it for the episode, guys. Make sure you do leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Aldrogantine to be, and this has been some E4. We're playing Byzantium. Bye bye.